Hi everyone, my name's Scott. Welcome to Planes, Trains, Everything and welcome to London Victoria Coach Station. Tonight, something I've had on my bucket list for way too long, tonight I get it crossed off. It's Flixbus between London and Amsterdam. Any coach service which uses a ferry where you drive on and then drive off at the other end must be done and tonight's no exception. Tonight we'll be driving to Dover, then using DFDS through to Dunkirk. Then we'll be making stops at places like Bruges, Ghent, The Hague and terminating at Amsterdam Schlotterdijk. Schlotterdijk's about five kilometers from the city center. That in itself is gonna be an adventure. I'm not sure how we do that, but stay tuned for that at the very end of this video. Right, we're gonna to go to the station now and uh, find my coach and seat 2A. Hopefully no one's nicked it. And I say that because I think that's the best seat on the coach. Generally the coach drivers keep row one free for their bags, their jackets, that sort of thing. Row two, two is the most forward of the rows which the public can book. And I've got 2A, which means a side view, a view at the front as well, especially for that all important money shot as we're driving onto the ferry, if you know what I mean. Right, let's get going. London Victoria Coach Station, Flixbus, seat 2A. Gate 13, hopefully not too unlucky. All flex bus passengers, your service is ready. First one on. Well, that went better than planned. I was second in the line and first on the coach. No chance of nicking seat 2A today. We've got a 20 minute break outside the coach before we get onto the ferry. It took me a while to find the outside part of the ship. It's on deck seven. And because it's raining, there's not many people here. Just the crazy ones. Right, I'm curious to see where this bus actually stops uh, during the morning. 
because on my confirmation it says it stops in The Hague but at Victoria Coach Station and at the front of the bus it says it stops at Utrecht which is a bit of a, a worry if you're getting off at The Hague I was, when I was waiting at uh, Victoria Coach Station there was a lady there and uh, I had a, a sneaky look at her mobile phone and I kind of went, huh? And sure enough she was getting off at The Hague and I think she was looking a little bit distressed at the fact that the coach wasn't actually going there I guess we'll find out what's going on in about five or six hours. In the meantime, I must say, I was very impressed. We get a little voucher, and that is redeemable for a meal and a drink. So uh, once we leave Dover, guess where I'm heading? It's absolutely chucking it down, so I might go inside and see what I can get for my voucher. I had the beef rendang, it was absolutely delicious, very, very spicy, brilliant. However, at 2 a.m., I'm not sure if that's a good combination. Right, let's go exploring. Passengers are restricted to decks seven and eight. So once you've actually had your free meal, there's not a great deal to do here. Fortunately, it's only a crossing of a couple of hours. It's actually not as cold as I thought it was going to be. I mean, I thought it's been pretty chilly in Scotland, but here in the south of England, it's actually not too bad. I could probably do without wearing this jacket, to be honest with you. But um, I've got all my valuables in the pocket here. My bag is left in the coach, which has been locked. I was just thinking, it's probably a good thing they gave us those food vouchers because um, without them there wouldn't be a great deal to do. Okay, it's a very functional ferry, I understand that, but really there's not a huge amount to do apart from eat and just sit. Um, I forgot to mention as well, at Dover, something I haven't seen in a long, long time, they actually collected everyone's passports and took them away. This was after the, the French uh, customs control, uh, they took them away. And I've only ever seen that happen once before, and that was on a train between Bucharest and Budapest, I think it was. Um, and they all came back, and no one seemed to have lost their passports, but it was a strange thing. I've, I've crossed the, uh, the channel a few times on these um, ferry and coach combinations, and that's the first time I've seen that happen. I heard someone singing the theme song from Titanic, the movie, which I thought was not of good taste. But it made me realize there's an upper deck for ob observations as well. So here we are. There's not too much to see up here either. A lot of this ship is actually taped off or closed to the public. I wonder what's going on. If I was a bit more burly, I could probably go in there and pretend to be a truck driver. They've got free tea, coffee and snacks. That's why they keep us out. After that very spicy beef rendang, a black coffee, and standing out here for 20 minutes in the warm September air at 3 and 4 in the morning, I don't think I'm going to be sleeping on this coach to uh, Amsterdam. I'm wide awake. I'm ping. Welcome to Dunkirk at 10 minutes past four in the morning. The captain and the crew of the vessel your voyage. Thank you for choosing the FDS and we look forward to welcome.
ladies and gentlemen, Den Haag, Den Haag Central Station, Den Haag. Good morning, good morning, wake up please. Amsterdam slot attack, Amsterdam. The end of service. Have a nice day, Amsterdam. Well guys, we made it to a very windy Amsterdam, 45 minutes late. That was due to traffic in the Rotterdam area. It was an absolute nightmare. Okay, we solved uh, one problem. We stopped at The Hague, we didn't go to Utrecht. Have no idea why that was appearing on the destination board at the front of the bus, or why it appeared on the destination board at uh, uh, London Victoria Station. No idea. Another interesting point, that ferry went from um, Dover to Calais. On the confirmation it said it was going to Dunkirk, so I have no idea what happened there. We did seem to make up a lot of time and I've got a feeling we might have been running so early we were able to get onto an earlier DFDS uh, alternative sailing. We had so much time we spent about 30 minutes sitting at Bruges doing nothing and then another 10 minutes at the border next to McDonald's. Anyway guys, the adventure hasn't finished yet. I have to get into Amsterdam city centre. Uh, fortunately, there's a train station right over there. And we made it to Amsterdam Central Station. Getting the ticket was easy, three euros forty and it's for one hour, just as well, because if you're traveling from um, Sloterdijk to Central Station, do not catch the metro. It might only be three, three miles in a straight line, but the metro doesn't go that way. It goes south and then comes north again. 17 intermediate stops. Catch the surface trains. Anyway guys, thanks very much for coming along on this little adventure with me. Please subscribe if you haven't already done so, because I wouldn't want you to miss out on any future adventures. And I'll see you next time.